Hello everyone. Today we will learn about high voltage disconnect switches. We will mainly introduce the functions and requirements of disconnect switches, the basic structural components of disconnect switches, and the types and models of disconnect switches, and other related topics. Disconnect switches, commonly known as isolators, are one of the most used and widely applied high voltage switch gear in power systems and are among the essential safety devices in high-voltage electrical installations. They ensure operational safety in electrical installations and are used to guarantee operational safety in high-voltage electrical installations. First, let's look at the functions and requirements of disconnect switches. The functions of disconnect switches can be summarized in three main aspects. First, to isolate the power supply. When electrical equipment needs maintenance, the disconnect switches creates a visible separation point between the equipment to be maintained and the live power source, ensuring the safety of maintenance personnel and the equipment. It opens a circuit without current. At this time, it opens a circuit without current. Second, to switch lines or bus bars, disconnect switches can transfer electrical equipment or lines from one bus bar to another opening circuits with only small unbalanced currents. During this process, the disconnect switch opens a circuit with only small unbalanced currents. Third, to open or close small current circuits. They can be used to open or close voltage transformers, surge arrestor circuits, bus bars and capacitors directly connected to bus bars with capacitance currents. No more than 5A. No load power lines with magnetizing current. No more than 2A, no load transformers, etc., to ensure the safety of maintenance work. And the simplicity of switching operations, disconnect switches, should meet the following structural requirements. Firstly, when in the open position, disconnect switches should have a clearly visible break to allow operators to clearly determine whether the device is disconnected from the power grid. Secondly, there should be sufficient insulation distance between the break points of the disconnect switch to prevent arc flashover. That could endanger personal safety. Third, it should have sufficient short circuit stability, including thermal and dynamic stability. In particular, it must not open accidentally due to electrodynamic forces. Due to electrodynamic forces. Otherwise, serious accidents could occur. Fourth, it should have a simple structure and reliable operation. Fifth, disconnect switches with grounding blades should have interlocking devices to ensure the correct operation sequence. To ensure the correct operation sequence, the correct sequence must be to open the disconnect switch first, then close the grounding blade, or to open the grounding blade first before closing the disconnect switch. Next, let's understand the basic structural components of disconnect switches. A disconnect switch is mainly composed of the following parts. First, the conductive part, including contacts, blades, and terminal bases. The conductive part mainly conducts current, plays a role in closing and opening circuits. Second, the insulation part includes support insulators and operating insulators. The insulation part mainly provides insulation to ensure insulation between live parts and grounded parts. Third, the operating mechanism for the disconnect switch operation provides the energy. Fourth, the transmission mechanism is composed of levers, linkages, shafts, or operating insulators. Its function is to receive the torque from the operating mechanism and transmit motion to the contacts to complete the opening and closing actions. Fifth, the support base the function of this part is to provide support and fixation. It integrates the conductive part, insulators, transmission mechanism, and operating mechanism into a single unit. The classification of disconnect switches. There are many types of disconnect switches. They can be classified by installation location, voltage level, number of poles, and structure. Mainly, there are the following classification methods. By installation location, they can be classified into indoor type and outdoor type. By number of poles, they can be classified into single pole and three pole by the number of insulating posts.
They can be classified into single post, double post, and triple post by operation method. They can be classified into knife switch type, rotary type, and plug-in type by the presence of grounding blades. They can be classified into with grounding blades and without grounding blades by operating mechanism. They can be classified into manual, electric, and hydraulic. By application, they can be classified into general purpose, quick break type, and neutral grounding type. The model of disconnect switches mainly consists of the following six units. The first unit, product name, G disconnect switch. The second unit, installation location, an indoor type, W outdoor type. The third unit, design sequence. The fourth unit, rated voltage KV. The fifth unit, supplementary characteristics. C porcelain bushing outlet, D with grounding switch. K quick break type, G improved type, T unified design. The sixth unit, rated current A. This concludes today's lesson. Thank you, everyone.